With Total Outlook Converter, you can easily convert Outlook emails to PDF, doc, HTML, TXT, and other formats. Let's see how it works. First, launch the program. It will either ask you to locate the required PST file, or if you have Outlook installed, it will automatically connect to it. You will see the folder tree with your emails in the left panel, and the list of messages in whichever folder you select in the middle panel. Each message will be previewed in the right panel. Select the emails that you want to convert by clicking on them. Press the Check All button if you want to process all the emails in this folder. Then, select the target folder. Here, I am choosing PDF. This is Total Outlook Converter's wizard. Here, we set the parameters of the conversion. First, it asks for the destination folder for the output files. As I have selected PDF as the target format, the program suggests combining all the emails into one multi-page PDF file, but I prefer separate files. Press Next. The program can rename output files. It's good to have descriptive names. You can easily find the necessary one. By default, the new file names will look like Date, Subject. I will make the date shorter, no hours, minutes, and seconds. As you can see, it's very flexible. You can either add or remove any macro. Press Next. Here we select the message fields that should be incorporated into the output file. By default, each file will have the sender, recipient, date, subject, and body included. Please note that you can also include the CC and BCC fields if you feel they are important. As you may have emails from several time zones, we have added the option of using coordinated universal time to avoid mess. This option is good when your emails contain links to images in the web, but you do not want them to be inserted into the output copies. If unchecked, Total Outlook Converter will try to download images from the web and embed them into the resulting files, but it may slow down the work. Press Next and tell the program what you want to do with the attachments. You may want to save attached files in the same folder. In this case, Remember to give your attachments new names to refer them to the right emails. Use this built-in renamer. If your attachments are images, they can be inserted into your output file, even with a Fit to Page option. If your emails have other emails from the previous conversation attached, they can be converted as well with your emails. The Pro version can convert attached files along with emails. These can be PDF or Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, TIFF or JPEG images, almost anything. Again, it only works in the Pro version. Press Next. Here you can tune the output document appearance. It comes in handy when the files in your office are standardized. I do not need it, so let's just skip it and go to the next inlay. This is the header inlay. Use it to add a page counter or a date to your output files. You can also use some predefined stamps like confidential or commercially sensitive, or type in any text you like. Then, you select the position of the header, its font, color, and size. We created it pretty customizable so that every user can get the header he or she wants. Then we go to the footer inlay. It's about the same watermarks, but they are located in the footer of the document. Let's add a page counter. As I'm converting my emails to PDF, the program suggests me some PDF-related settings. I can choose paper size, orientation, set properties, or compression. I am done with the settings, so I press Start button. Note that you can always rely on the default settings. All you need to do is check the emails, select the target format, and locate the folder for the output files. The converter will do everything automatically.
Here we get Process Complete Notice. It shows how many files were processed, if there were any errors, and writes the log file. As you can see, Total Outlook Converter is pretty easy to use. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us in the comments section or by email support at coolutils.com. Thank you for watching.